Hello, my name is Green, and today I'm going to be showing you what you can do with custom heads in Minecraft. Now, obviously, this is only for the PC edition, because you can't get your hands on these on the console, so sorry to you Pocket Edition users, as usual. So, let's just take a look at what is possible. Now, each individual head is connected to a username, and these are like real accounts and their heads, the skins, are then put on these tiny little custom head blocks. So ultimately, you can have anything. So I've got this like big board of loads of different heads here and there are loads put together by my crew and you can see just the wide variety of what's there and you can probably start imagining now just how much use these have especially as they're half the size of a normal block not only can they be used for decoration but they can be used just in general building and for very specific tasks that you wouldn't normally be able to do so let's go through some of the uses that I found through my years of building for custom heads. Now this one here is the first one and we just have a bunch of uses for just decoration in a house. Now the custom heads are the highlight of this room. So you got the TV there, a little fish tank. We even have a little security camera up in the corner attached onto a lever so it actually looks like a security camera. We have like a bookshelf and a clock just to put on shelves. They make really good just clutter to put in a build, especially for your interior and that kind of thing. So alternatively, we have like a globe here that you can put on a fence, which I think is way better than trying to make your own, just use a custom head. But of course, if you are on a console, you may not be able to do this. You can get mini versions of just blocks like chests and logs, and you can just put them next to those blocks to decorate and sort of add a little bit extra to that decoration. But it's not just all about that. You can make things look a little bit nicer in general. Like these fences, I couldn't actually find the cobblestone one, but we found this stone one and that goes on top. And all it does is extend the stone wall by half a block or maybe a little bit less. And it just looks really good. And you can imagine putting that on top of a castle because it's a little bit more detailed than having just normal stone blocks. You could use it as a fence, of course, the variety of use for this, these tricks are immense. So if you imagine a castle like that, it doesn't look as good as perhaps the cobblestone wall does because of the intricacies of the models are different. So that's just some ideas there for fence use and how it interacts with custom heads. But it's not all about that, you can actually include them on your buildings as well. The wood one here, I couldn't find one on the side, and that is one of the biggest problems with custom heads. You need to actually go out and find someone that has that head and won't change it. You can put them on the side of your frame and stuff like that. Because it's half a block, you know, half the size of a normal block, it makes an amazing depth decoration tool for building. Now, obviously, I've just used it in a framework very simply but I want you guys to see if you can come up with other ways to use custom heads in your normal builds. But it's not all about buildings either. Custom heads work really well in natural environments. You can see the melons and the pumpkins, they are added to by the fact that there are just mini versions of them decorating the original. You can also add like apples on a tree, which look really good. You could just slap them on a normal tree and it improves it a lot just because of that different shape that it adds. And then you've got a nice little birdhouse that you can attach on these things. All these little tiny details, the attention to a detail when you do a build like this, make a huge difference. And you can of course go ahead and take it one step further and do entire orchards or farms that are completely aesthetic. They don't actually function. These you know, fruits don't work in Minecraft, if you like. But if you wanted to create farms that just look good, you could consider doing something like that. Or maybe you're making a mine or something like that. And you can put piles of redstone and emeralds and diamonds and that kind of thing, iron coal. There's pretty much every option available to you. And you can decorate them with the smaller versions with a custom head. Alternatively, there's a coconut, which you can just, you know, make a tree on. Sometimes you even want to look at what available heads there are and then decide, hey, this would make a really good build. So I saw the coconuts and decided, you know, let's make a coconut tree in this sort of 
showcase of how to use custom heads because that's where the inspiration came from and you can do the same thing on cactuses now on their own they don't look very detailed but Honestly, cactuses in real life often have these like little bulbous things on the side of them and you can add them with these heads and there's a series of heads called MHF and they're actually made by Mojang and you can use them, they won't ever change. Some heads will change. These for example will not change. The arrows and the question mark and the excl exclamation mark will never change and they're really useful for map makers because they can like point the way and you can direct them in whatever direction you need them to go in. And they're really useful for anyone that has or will be making maps. And you can also just decorate natural things. You can give a face to something. So for example, the snowmen. And I've seen heads for like Pepe and turtles and all sorts of animals. So instead of having to build one, you can just add a custom head. These sorts of things are really good for decoration to create some sort of ambience. So we've just got a villager's head on its side and I've used these in Windcraft multiple times and you can add some blood around it and then cordon it off and it just creates a mini scene. But of course the custom head is essential to the build. They're not always just about decoration. They are about being the centerpiece and they actually sort of make it. And you can see just how many there are. And what we've put together for you is a list of these heads and how to get them in the description below. So there's a command that you use on PC edition and I'll put that on the screen now and you just put in the username that I have listed in the big link that I've put in the description and you can summon the head in as well if you wanted to use them. And there are loads of different options. I've only showcased a very small amount because I'm pretty sure you get the idea of how these can be used. And of course, I don't want to tell you everything. I want you to browse these at your leisure and decide, hey, how can I use these? You may have even seen some of them on like the Hypixel mini games and that kind of stuff. So that's it from me everyone, I hope you've enjoyed this tiny video on like how to utilize custom heads, it's not something perhaps everyone considers, thank you very much for watching, good boy!